Hello, how's it going you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Black TK Sun and today we're going to be talking about something that I've been seeing all over online and this doesn't really concern Suicide Squad, trust me, but this kind of really goes more into other heroes getting their video games and I've been seeing a lot of people saying like, oh, this character is too overpowered and I think I might have touched on this a bit on my other videos, but I just really wanted to reiterate again, go more in depth on this kind of word because I'm really starting to think that this word is just structurally over used i feel like people say this and not knowing the character the character's lore the character's enemies and the character's overall personality that can actually work within the game that actually doesn't really concern when it comes to batman and spider-man like characters so a lot of people i've been seeing like they've been saying like oh we really want to see more characters like daredevil moon knight or Elektra, or iron fist or you know very street tier level characters which i can't really complain about i would really love to see those kinds of characters too but whenever someone or a group of people tend to mention characters like thor Hulk, Superman, hell, Sentry, anybody who is around that power level of like a power fantasy, a lot of fans who I tend to call normies, they always say, oh, he's too overpowered. He or she is too overpowered. And it's really starting to get annoying because I feel like these kinds of people, again, they do not read the comics. And I feel like they just watch something that's based off the movie or the cartoon and they just kind of go along with it without really reading the actual source material. And I kind of wish that people would just please read more comics. Please read more because to me i was kind of the same way something that you guys may not know about me is that a while ago or not a while it was like a long time ago i used to be such a superman hater i hated superman i hated anything with superman and i was just like i don't know why this character is so powerful he's so boring blah 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 goku's better until i actually started to pick up a comic and give the character a chance and actually start reading upon his character his overall villains his power and the thing that i noticed when it comes to a character like superman for instance his power tends to fluctuate a lot in the comics there's times when he's powerful and there's times when he can get his ass beat by like a very low tier character that he shouldn't be getting his ass beat by the thing is though the way i see it is that the comics have so much of a diversity when it comes to his character and his power that i feel like it makes it a lot more possible to make games around characters like him especially with characters like thor and hulk i see a lot of people saying oh like you can't make a good thor game because he's useless without his hammer and it's like that's really not true he's an asgardian warrior who's fought for like almost 4,000 years. He's a very powerful character even with or without Mjolnir. And the thing that a lot of people don't understand about the character of Thor is that there's been times where he's been fighting in battles for like literally non-stop day by day. I think there was a time in a comic where he went non-stop fighting for at least 40 days. He would literally like put Mjolnir down and start beating niggas asses with his hands. Like that's what I'm saying. Like he's a very good fighter. He may not be like a straight up martial artist on the level of like Batman level, but it's like he can can still fight and he knows how to wrestle i feel like when it comes to a game where you can make on thor you can easily make it to where like yes you can have mjolnir as like your main weapon but let's say if you want to like kind of switch it up and like let's say you don't want to use mjolnir you can also use his magical axe yonbjorn you can pretty much like let's say you can have a mechanic where you can have him like tackle a person and then kind of beat him down to a pulp for like a certain amount of combos or whatever but like or like let's say with a character like hulk you can have things where like let's say the government built these things from like stark industries that can actually stand up against hulk you can have those certain types of enemies in the game uh, like i said you can have abomination you can have red hulk you can have like there's so many different possibilities that you can do with the character that doesn't really have to limit to oh he's too overpowered i mean like i said like if you just read the comics and see the kind of threats that he goes against and there's even times where hulk himself is an underdog there's times where thor is an underdog there's many times where superman is the underdog and that's the kind of point that i really want to try and get across is that you can make these games but i feel like you pretty much have to put your mind in the mind of a developer you pretty much have to sit down and think what can work and what cannot work take the things that can work and then put them in the game and then build off of that obviously the way i see it you can't take the comic character of a superhero and put it in the game because you're essentially taking things that are extremely powerful things that they do in the comics that you can't do in game format for like instance like with these characters like thor superman or hulk you would have to take versions where they are pretty much balanced for gameplay for superman you can easily do a chance with the anime series kind of power level you can do the new 52 kind of power level you can even do the superman rebirth power level those kinds of supermans are very 
not weak but you can easily take inspiration for gameplay and it goes to show that not all the time are these characters extremely powerful that everyone seems to make them seem out to be i see a lot of people talking about how oh superman is way too fast for a game uh that's not true if we remember back in superman returns way back in 2006 the game had him going at supersonic speeds with ps2 kinds of like graphics as well as xbox 360 it can work it just shows that there are blueprints for that kind of game as well as we look at op characters like kratos dante even goku goku has his own game a character who can pretty much crack the planet if he really wanted to as well as have you guys seen how fast that he flies in that game that's what i'm saying like these people who say things like oh it's impossible you can't do it they're overpowered no one's gonna play it it's boring these are the kinds of people who don't have a creative mind they don't read the comics and they don't know the character and i feel like that's the main worry that a lot of people have with these characters is like how do you make a game extremely seriously while making it fun at the same time on the level of spider-man and batman the thing is though a lot of people tend to confuse these characters with batman and spider-man you cannot compare street level goon enemies to characters of a power fantasy that's just impossible you can't do that and a lot of people tend to forget that and they're like oh uh like you can't have thor flying in new york city because he'd just be beating every crick that he would see and blah 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 it's like well first of all those aren't the enemies that he fights and struggle against second of all why would he be in new york city he should be in either an asgard or a niflheim or a musfaheim or any other realm that he can actually have a good challenge against i mean why are we even getting a wonder woman if, if that's the case if she's so overpowered then why are we getting a wonder woman game obviously they're not going to make her game where she's going to be fighting like world war ii soldiers where she can easily overpower them that's going to be making for a boring gameplay mechanic so obviously the developers of the wonder woman game are going to be making sure that it's on themscare island or paradise island making sure that the enemies that she's facing is actually around her power level so that it doesn't feel like she's overpowering them as well as going more into her lore with all the kinds of very interesting villains that she has that i feel like a lot of fans who aren't wonder woman fans would actually really enjoy especially with this game being made by the same people who did the shadow of mordor games it's literally the perfect combo so also i'm saying like i feel like if wb started licensing out their ips to studios who can actually produce these kinds of things faster than just relying solely on wb montreal or rocksteady i feel like we would actually see a lot more power fantasy like characters getting their own games like pretty much imagine how cool it would be for like an insomniac superman game it's definitely doable and i'm tired of people acting like it's not when it really is and hopefully i'm pretty much gonna be not talking about this kind of subject for a while because i'm very tired of constantly having to say this with people always saying it's impossible and i feel like especially with after how suicide squad killed the justice league showed their new gameplay trailer and how amazing the justice league characters look in that game oh my god i wish i had a superman game from them or a green lantern game or a flash game i feel like it would have been amazing or even a wonder woman game just by the way that she looks in the gameplay i was like yo i would totally kill for a wonder woman versus the justice league game that would have been he it would have been amazing just in my opinion honestly we are in new gen gaming right now where it's completely possible like i said we're getting a wonder woman game we also had god of war ragnarok which is honestly the ultimate power fantasy when it comes to overpowered characters other than that if you guys enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe and thank you for watching and definitely comment down below and just let me know what you guys think like are you guys just as tired as i am every time someone says oh no no they're overpowered like it gets really annoying i'm, I'm telling you or do you guys kind of like have your own opinions on okay maybe this character maybe a little bit hard to do definitely just you know share your thoughts in the comments down below i really would love to hear it but other than that guys definitely rest easy and i'll catch you on the next vid peace